Yep, today I decided to get a chiropractic adjustment for my body. I actually have mild back and neck pain from editing for so many years, so I wanted to see if I could gain any benefits to reduce the pain and improve my physical body. I've seen countless others try this out all over my YouTube recommendation and wanted to see what it was all about. Today, I am gonna go see a chiropractor. I've only had massages my whole life, so I'm kind of curious to see what it's gonna be like to get a, an alignment of my bone. I've never had my bone cracks, so I can crack my knuckles, but I've never had like my back cracked. I'm actually gonna get my back blown out today, technically. Uh, no homo. but. Uh, yeah, let's go see what happens. The chiropractor had to first perform a physical examination of my body to assess my range of motion, reflexes, and posture. What I'm looking for is if any pain is going down into your right arm. Anything going on there? Just in the neck. Just in the neck. <laughs> I'm going to stretch your head and shoulder apart. That feels good. Other than stretching in your neck and upper shoulder, anything shooting down into your arm? Signals are just in the neck. Just yep. here, right? Right here, yeah. We're just going to check some range of motion, so show me how much you can bend your neck up and down. All right. And just do the best you can, don't force it. Oh, yeah, so yeah. You're, you're a little hypermobile, actually. Is that bad? Just your hypermobile. Get up on your tippy toes and step in place. Get up on your heels, step in place. Good. Now you're just going to bend forward as far as you can. Good. Come on back. <sighs> bend backwards. Good. Your exam is relatively clean. We're going to lay you down on the table. I'm going to palpate your neck and back. Just try to relax. I'm just going to do a full scan just to see what I'm feeling. Okay. Right now, I'm just checking your leg lengths because they'll tell me if your lower back or pelvis is out of alignment. Your legs appear to be pretty even, so that's good. I'm just going to be pushing on your back, checking to see what's tight, what I need to adjust. So I could tell you that this should probably feel a lot tighter compared to this. Every joint has a normal joint healthy place. So when I push on it, if it's healthy, it's going to be squishy. If it's not healthy, like right in there, Oh yeah. That's gonna be yeah. tight. And definitely yeah. a lot of yeah. stuff going yeah. on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on in your neck. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna do a little tissue work. I'm gonna get the blood flowing and release some stuff. I use yeah. vibrating percussors, so Oh yeah, it's like a massage gun. It's yeah, but instead of like massaging this way, it actually percusses. Oh. Warm things up, get the blood flowing, loosen up some of the tightness. Is getting an adjustment better than getting a massage, or are those two different things? It's two, like diff it's two different things. The analogy I always give to people is: imagine you got a little stone, a little pebble inside your shoe, and it's digging into the bottom of your foot. So you take your foot out of the shoe, you rub the bottom of your foot, and your foot feels better. And then you put your foot right back into your shoe, yeah. and that pebble starts to dig again. Uh, Did you fix the problem? Not really. No. So chiropractic is going to get that pebble out of your shoe massages you rub in your foot if i stand up can you tell if there's anything already off with my like posture or anything yeah stand up okay so the one thing that we're looking at is if i had a string attached to the ceiling there was just like a weighted string coming down i could tell right now here's the center of your shoulder and here's the center of your ear okay so you could tell your head's carrying forward. The other thing I can tell, look where your palms are facing. So oh, no. that means your pecs are tight because if your pecs are loose and your upper back is strong, oh, you're gonna be more like this. So which way are your palms facing them? Now they're facing your oh, inseams. So, oh, inseams. so when your pecs get tight, you roll in this one. This shoulder blade, Yeah. it's protracted. So it's kind of sticking out. So instead of it being like this, it's kind of more oh, no. this way. Okay. So that's where we need to get in and kind of strengthen the muscles. So do I just need to do more pull-ups and more back exercises? Not necessarily pull-ups, probably more like the, the row. underhand rows. Oh, okay, rows, yeah. Um, more pullbacks with straight arm. Got know, it. Like that. I don't really feel like I have like too much of a hunch. No, going you on. got some anterior yeah. head carriage. So does that mean I could gain an inch real quick? Or no? Like will I get an inch taller? When, if you have a complex about your height, then you should check your height when you wake up in the morning. Because when you sleep, your discs rehydrate a little bit. So yeah. you're going to be a little bit taller first thing in the, in the morning. morning. Yeah. You're going to rest your hands like this. I'm going to be resisting you this way because okay. I don't want your body to roll with me. My leg is going to go on top of your thigh. And you're going to feel me stretching you forward and down this way. My hand is going to be right over that sacroiliac joint that was tight when I was pushing on you when you were face down. Okay. All you need to do for me is just breathe. Relax and breathe. Don't hyperventilate. Just gotcha. breathe normal. No, yeah, yeah. And you're going to feel some pressure and then I'm going to give you a quick push down. Okay? <laughs> All right. There it goes. So now we're gonna work a little bit down the lower back right there. You feel that? Yep, I do. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> On the way down, you're gonna control your head. So just, I got yep. your body. Mm -hmm. All you need to make sure is that when you're coming back with me, that your head's not plopping back. Got it. I'm gonna hold you from the side. My other hand is gonna be like this, and I'm gonna push up and into your back. Breathe all the way out and fall back with me. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Let it out, all the way out. Good. Yep. Breathe in. All the way out. We're just gonna palpate your neck. I already felt stuff way up high up in here. I'm, I'm ready sure. for this to be fixed. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, ooh, ooh. All right, so let's start, let's start down low right in here. So what you're gonna feel is you're gonna kind of feel me move your skin out of the way and kind of contact that area. That's cool. You're gonna feel me stretch you and bend your head. Your head's gonna relax, you're gonna feel me give you a quick push. Sounds good. Oh, wow. Same idea, just relax, just let it drop. Oh my. <laughs> 
I think the sound has freaked me out more than just the feeling. It should feel more squishy. Remember that tight spot here? They should both feel kind of about even now. You know, I mean, you don't feel like that discomfort anymore, right? It's not as tight. You feel how it's kind of more squishy? Mm -hmm. So anytime I feel like I need to crack something, what should I tell myself? Like, just don't do it harshly or just listen to it? Look, if you're gonna do it once in a while, it's probably not the end of the world. But, yeah. you know, there are people that'll crack their knuckles every five minutes. That's, you're not stressing, you're stressing the joint. It is, okay. I mean, that's, like, I... that's like me adjusting your neck. every like following you around and adjusting uh, every yeah. five minutes. Okay so, you know? okay, so even though these are smaller, that's still this, it's the same thing that's happening. You're, uh, you're putting stress on the joints and you can eventually damage your joints. Okay. I mean, you're not damaging them, you're gonna create a rapid or an accelerated degeneration and you're gonna have arthritis. Yeah, that's what they always say, I didn't know if that was true or not, okay. Yeah, you know, the parents always say you have big ugly knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's arthritis. Okay, so the adjustment's done. Just to control the inflammation, to stimulate stem cells, we kind of briefly touched on it. So we're gonna do some work with you on the Softwave device. What is this thing? The latest technology that Softwave has introduced, Softwave has been around since I believe 2004. This machine was recently FDA cleared in November of 2022. Are they constantly this, updating them? Yeah, they're always trying to improve technology. Cool, so cool. There you go, you're, you're doing it again. Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, for no, now. So this is a machine that provides treatment by use of what's called extracorporeal shockwave therapy. Okay. So this is a machine that does shockwave. The machine is gonna send an electrical current and it sends a shockwave from the applicator into the tissue that we're treating. It's going to trick your body to think that we're injuring it, even though we're not. That's as if I took my finger and ran it along your skin and your body thought that I took a knife and cut you. Am I gonna feel that? You're gonna feel some discomfort if the tissues are inflamed. So okay. You've never been adjusted before. We found some stuff there, so I'm sure there's gonna be some inflammation. So some areas are gonna be tender. Okay. The model in my office is if you're not feeling it, we're not healing it. All right. So you're gonna feel something. It's not gonna be terrible pain, but you're gonna feel some discomfort. You're gonna feel like a deep pressure pulling discomfort. Shockwave therapy is going to help by, number one, decreasing inflammation. And one of the most important things that this thing does is it actually recruits and stimulates your own internal stem cells and your stem cells are repair cells so they mm -hmm. will go to those areas and help start repairing oh, this geez. is a tissue regenerating technology all right you ready to go let's do it I, I, like you said i do not know how to describe this i don't think i have the word if everything was healthy and if you didn't have some tight and tight tissues you wouldn't have felt anything really yeah oh well then i'm broken v really good I, again i feel loose and i just i feel more relaxed i don't know if that's just because all the blood circulated when you came in, did you have any pain or discomfort yeah i would say i did in the middle and i don't feel anything there right now so it definitely did work i definitely want to come back and do this again because i felt great and want to keep my body as fresh as it can be What's up y'all? So different location. I currently am looking like a smurf right now because of the blue light. We're currently in the studio. As some of you guys may or may not know, I had been working on some songs. I had been doing music on and off for like three years. I'm currently working on putting out a project to tape and I was like, man, I never film this stuff. I feel like people don't want to see it or nobody cares, whatever. Who cares? I'm doing it. Everything's going to turn to rubble eventually. So I'm just going to put out all this content, bring you guys along for the ride. And you guys can follow me along in my music journey because I have a blast doing it. Let me take you in here to a little booth. I actually look exhausted right now because I was just in here for four hours just screaming my little heart out in here. And I don't know if y'all can hear them jamming in the other room. This thing has lights too, let's see. Oh, hold on now, that's what I look like, holy sh we did a test shot with this camera and my bags look ridiculous. I look like I'm like dying, but it's the lighting. It's the whole, it's the lighting. Yeah, but like I said, currently in the process of making a mixtape. I want to put out like two different tapes and a bunch of singles and stuff. Punch it out there. Today, I think I did like maybe motherfucking three songs or something. I want to take you guys along the process of how I make some of the songs. I don't know. I think it'll be interesting. I don't have an exact date on when it's going to come out, the tape that I'm working on, but it's going to be soon. Who knows what can happen tomorrow? I'm going to just try my best to get it done as soon as possible. I want to make sure that all the songs and the beats are crisp and they're mixed and mastered properly. And let me say this before I bounce. I just released two songs. One is called RX-7, which is the name of my favorite car, as some of you guys might know. And then the other one is called Houston. I'll put the link in the top of the description for the link tree. You can see like the Apple Music, Spotify, whatever, whatever. But if you guys do that and stream the songs, it would make my heart extremely warm because I really be putting my all into the songs and I really enjoy them. Some people told me that they like the songs too. Check out the songs. I would really appreciate your guys' support. And if those two that I just posted aren't quite your cup of tea, all good, no worries. I'm gonna just keep pumping stuff out and hopefully you guys fuck with it. If not, it's okay. It's fun for me. I'm really just doing it as a hobby. And like I said, if you guys support me, I'd be so grateful and so happy. That's that. I'm going to sleep right now. Bye.